Hi friends, it's Jackie Williams and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the new Stampin' Blends markers. Now these are alcohol-based markers, which means they are permanent and they blend quite differently than the water-based markers. So first of all, these are the colors that are available right now from Stampin' Up! Um, on their initial release and they come in pairs. So this is a pair um, pool party, Calypso Coral and so on. You can buy them as a set, um, a light and a dark pool party for example, or you can buy them as individual markers, which is great for if you use one quite heavily, then you can replace it without having to buy both of them. So in addition to these pairs of markers, we also have the ivory marker, the bronze marker, and the color lifter. So the ivory and bronze are your more brown colors, as you can see, and they're, they're meant to be for skin tones, as well as for mixing in with the other colors. This is kind of a vanilla sort of color. The color lifter is for when you have uh, little stray marks or a little bit of bleeding and you can kind of push the color back where it belongs. It's also really great for adding highlights because it removes color. It's almost like a really light um, sort of a bleach pen. Um, it doesn't have bleach in it but that's just sort of the visual that I have in my head with how this works. It also can work um, to blend the colors if you use it just really lightly and quickly. When you uh, color with these, if you are coloring a stamped image, you will need to stamp with the Memento Tuxedo Black because this is a water-based ink, therefore it will not mix with the alcohol-based markers. Um, same as when we have a water-based um, technique like water-based markers or water coloring, you would use a permanent ink like an alcohol-based ink. So basically the ink and the markers need to be opposites, otherwise they will bleed together. Okay, now on the markers as well, you see on this end you have a thin line and on this end you have a thicker line. The thick lined part is um, a brush tip and on the thin lined end is more of a bullet tip or a, a finer, firmer tip. Now you do want to keep the lids on these markers whenever they're not in use because of the alcohol base, they do evaporate much more quickly than water. So they're not going to dry out as you're using them or anything, but just as a good habit, keep the lids on. Also when you're storing them, these are best stored on their sides rather than upright just to keep the ink um, even through the barrels. Now I'm going to show you a few things about coloring. Let me move these out of the way. But I just want to say that my coloring is very basic. This is like your beginner alcohol-based marker coloring sort of a thing. So um, there are certainly more advanced techniques, but this is just to get you started. So you would want to use an image that has large open spaces for your blending. You can certainly color things with, with tighter, smaller spaces but you won't get that blended look because there just isn't the room for it. And you want to color in small sections. So let's pick a few colors to uh, play with here. Maybe we'll go with, with those three. So you want to do, rather than coloring in um, a large piece and then in one color and then going back with another color, it's better to work in small bits so that um, while you're blending the colors, it's still a little bit wet. I tend to prefer to use the bullet tip or the finer tip, but that is just personal preference. That's up to you. So I'm just going to start using small circles. I'm using the lighter color. I actually normally start with the darker, but that doesn't matter. So this is pool party and then we'll take Oops, wrong end. We'll take the um, darker color and just blend those two together. Again, just using small circles.
All right, let's go. Let's try um, a little bit with a flower. A flower is a little bit easier to work in small sections, or it's a little bit more clear where the small sections are. So let's start with the dark this time, which is what I meant to do on the last one, and just add your dark color in through the veins of these leaves, maybe in around the edges, and and then add the light in through here, going over the dark pieces so they blend together, like that. And we'll do another uh, petal down here as well. We can just do a little bit of circling through the, a couple of petals through here with the dark Calypso Coral. And then using the light, going over that again and just blending the colors. Now the colors will will blend together a little more nicely once they have dried a little bit. Now I'm also going to use the Cherry Cobbler and just add a bit of detail in through here. And you can leave that as is, but I'm going to take the um, light Calypso Coral and just add, just blend that through a little bit more. Now. You can keep adding color and layers and layers and layers of color and the beautiful thing is your paper won't shred. It will start to leak through the back but that's just a part of this technique. You haven't done anything wrong so you definitely want to have something underneath you. Um, you can see how these colors are nicely blended together. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yes, also the more color you put on um, there's a potential, especially if it's right around the edges, if you just keep putting on layers and layers of color that it will start to bleed just because there's a saturation. So you just want to be aware of that and maybe careful of it. You can use your color lifter to just erase some of that. I've also used the color lifter, oops, a little bit in through here where you can see there's a little bit of a light bit. So it just will add some highlights as well. Okay, the other fun thing you can do with the um, alcohol markers is color in your rhinestones and your pearls. So you can have rhinestones and pearls in any of these colors, for example. Look at that, just so easy. So you can perfectly match your projects. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, so a few examples. So this is one I did a video on earlier. You can see how nicely that rose comes up with a lot of detail on it. And it's just by taking one petal at a time and blending the colors through. It's, it's actually not hard. And this is a project where I've colored in the pearls to make little berries. So now you can have little pearls and little accents in any of these colors. So I hope you've enjoyed that and have learned a thing or two and feel a little more confident about using the new Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. And if you'd like to give these a try, come along to a class. This is Jackie. Thanks for watching.